Wow, were you drifting it? What's up crew, what's up machine freaks? I hope everybody's feeling extremely froggy fresh today on this fine day. I myself am feeling super froggy fresh because I'm getting a free car wash as we speak. I'm sure there's a lot of snowmobilers out there that don't have that same attitude. They're looking at this and they're disgusted because they want to get out on the trails and you know, the snow is just diminishing. There's not, rain kills snow. There's, that's all there is to it. Dalton, you're not a meteorologist. Stop talking about weather. You got it. We are on our way to go see Jake Jake the toilet snake, Mr. Snake. That's not his last name, but maybe we'll get to how Jake got his name. Anyways, I am headed up to his house. Jake made a new purchase. I'm excited to show you. He's excited to show you. You guys know we haven't seen much of Jake lately and I miss him. You guys miss him. Maybe I'll have to give him a hug. There's nothing wrong or nothing sexual about giving your friend a hug. It's just, it's nice. My truck was completely covered in salt and thanks to the mother nature, she cleaned it up pretty well. Ah, maybe it'll come off on the way home. I'll remain optimistic. I guess uh, Jake's gonna open up his own car washing place. He's doing a swell job. Is this what you've been up to the last couple weeks? Yeah. Washing cars? So how's business been? I don't know, it's cold. My hands are cold, I'm so... Oh, it's got a nice leak there. You, can see my you need to invest in some better equipment, man, if you're going to open up your own car washing place. So, Jake, when are your hours? Did you have a busy day today? How many cars you got? Two, three, three in the trailer. Need to pull up the old D-Max. Now that Jake's got hypothermia, it's time to eat. Jake and I had a small lunch. What'd you end up eating? Salad? Yeah, I ate a salad and some uh, tortilla chips with some salsa with some cheese. Lunch of champions. Jake, what's up with your rig here? It just has snow on it. Yeah, you, you haven't washed this one today? I don't need to. Why not? Oh, it's off the road. Why is that? No longer dry for why? What's wrong with her? She's a beauty. She was your winner, winner daily driver. What ended up happening to it? I had to retire it there. Oh yeah. yeah. Holy smokes. That frame thing broke in here. So. Wow. Were you drifting it? No. Close parking lot? <laughs> no, no. Been there, done that. Dude, that is totally crooked. That thing is twisted sideways though. Yeah, so what, were you just driving it and it? No, it just broke. I was driving and the exhaust sounded like it was getting loud again. So I went underneath there and one of my clamps had loosened up or something. And when I looked underneath there, I noticed that this control arm was like cracked like three quarters of the way through. So I went to take it off and I was going to buy a new one. And then bolt snapped. So is she for sale? Uh, I think someone already is buying it. So. Okay, so we can't yeah. dumb wet. Oh yeah, those are nice tires. They're like brand new. Those are nice winter tires too. Oh, winter forces. The D-Max has those. They got the same shoes, Jake. So did we ever find out what that bolt went to that we found just casually in the... Oh no, I never looked. Yep, I'd say uh, it is time to retire that one. But Jake's got a new rig. Jake, you gotta show the viewers that one. See, when, when one machine dies, you have to replace it. Especially if you're using it for transportation. There's no doubt about it. How should we show these folks this fine automobile. Should we just completely just reveal it right away or should we, how are we doing this? It's up to you, you can, uh, if you want to, you could like put the camera low and like just to get shots of the tires and then slowly go up from there or something like that. That's up to you. I don't are we gonna do like a dramatic or are we just gonna, just here it is. Cause it's, this is a fine automobile. It's up to you, it's your channel. <laughs> Jake, she's a beauty. What do you call this? Is this like a modern day El Camino? <laughs> I guess. So it's a Ford product. Ford Explorer Sport Track. 
since 2005. So where do you find something nice like this? I don't know. What's that little bar there for? It's a luggage rack, like to hold your stuff from preventing it from going forward. Or you can flip it around and have it sit out here. I like it so far, it's a nice little vehicle. <laughs> Jake, you're so good. All right, Jake, let's take an inside tour. Oh, it's locked. I mean, I don't blame you. This thing is a nice piece of equipment. I don't, I don't blame you for locking it. Does the key thing work? Does this thing work? Yeah, I don't know the code though. Ah. Oh. This thing, huh? Yeah, she reeks. What do you got? A dead mouse in there? Something dead. Oh my God. I don't How do you deal with that? Here, I'll try. I don't think it smells that bad. It stinks so bad. There's something dead in here, and Jake does not care at all. What is this? Some scent stuff. It's for... What is it, skunk? No, it's cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah. Well, spray that stuff in there, man. Let it rip. Tater chip. Have you guys ever smelt what a dead mouse smells like? Well, if so, that's exactly what Jake's new vehicle smells like. Like, it's horrendous. I mean, the outside, Jake, it looks like a million bucks, buddy, but um, the inside doesn't smell too good. I like that it's a four-door. Jake's getting ready for Valentine's Day. He got this right out of the dumpster so he can uh, oh. utilize this. Last year, so uh, saving money there. How many miles are on this son of a gun, Jake? Uh, 70-something. 70? Right off the showroom floor. Yeah. <laughs> you want a piece of chocolate? Uh, not if it's been sitting in your mouse infested oh, vehicle. My my You're not going to be able to give that stuff away. <laughs> my grandpa just gave it to me <laughs> the other day. Well, Jake, she seems like a, a, a beautiful vehicle. Not as beautiful as the Escort. Oh, the Escort's uh, nicer? It's more beautiful. Why is that? This is more rugged. Rugged? Oh, yeah. That's what you gotta say when you're, you know, speaking to the ladies. Hey, ladies, I got a rugged Explorer Sport Track. That's what it's called, right? Yep. Sport Track! So when do you start drifting it? I mean, since she's a Sport Track, you may as well just take her around the old track. It's not T R A C K. It's T R A C. Oh, so these guys need to go back to school. They don't know how to spell, so therefore I can't take it on the track. I see. So how are these tires <laughs> treating you? Oh, they're brand new. Oh, those are nice. Gotta have brand new tires in the winter. That's right, buddy. Yeah, what if you like hit a super big bump and that just takes it, that line right out? You know, because you're on the sport, you're on the sport track, and you're just <laughs> giving it to her, yeah, I guess. drifting around the corners. I mean, that's just totally gonna just give. I put a brand new ball on this bad boy, guys. She's got balls. Well, one. I had to. Uh, I already hauled my first trailer with my dirt bike in the back. KTM hauled it like a dream. Ten thousand pounds. Yeah. No, thirty-five hundred pounds. Oh, really? No, I don't know. That's what this ball's rated for. Oh. The old one, the old one was on there so tight, I couldn't get it off, and I'm freaking torquing on it, and I snapped the this portion. Like off. the thread po yeah, portion? Yeah, it, it snapped it off, so then I just picked it up off. Well, Jake, she's a nice vehicle. Um, once you fix that small, maybe I'll go for a ride in it. But for now, uh, I think I'll stay where these guys are staying and behind the behind the screen. So, what do you guys think of Jake's new rig? Is it a is it a truck or is it a car? I think she's nice. I think we can put a dirt bike in there, Jake. I uh, think it's going to be tight, and plus it's coming off the road in the summertime. The good old Sonoma is the summer rig. That's right. <laughs> Nothing but pure ponies for Jake's fleet. <laughs> <laughs> pure American muscle. This thing's got some snot. This is, a... is it a six-cylinder? Yeah, I don't even know. Should we pop the hood for the folks? You don't know what's in it? No, I never looked. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, right? Just run it. 3.8. All right, you lift up. Oh, it's clean. It's a 4.0. Oh, my. Nothing but pure torque. Like, she's going to have plenty of snot, buddy. Plenty of snot. Look at how clean this sucker is. I think uh, you, didn't too, you didn't do too shabby here, considering she's a, a New York State vehicle. Yeah, well, I, I just washed it off with the hose before you got here. That's why. Oh, because you're in the business. Yeah. We're going to have to do some upgrades, maybe put some NAS in her. Yeah, a turbo, supercharged. Boost. Jake, I like it. I dig it, buddy. Thanks. The modern El Camino. Jake owns it. I already pulled someone out. Did you really? Yeah. FedEx lady. She got stuck. I actually had a hard time. I, uh, well. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> so, I pull in. I seen her stuck. And I'm like, you need help? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, you have a tow strap? No. I'm like, all right. Well, I live right down the road. I'll be right back. And I forgot to put it in four-wheel drive. So, I'm trying to pull her out in two-wheel drive. 
I'm like, why is it not working? <laughs> and she's like, I have some sand. So I put sand behind the back tires and then I go to the front tires and I start to put sand behind the front tires. I'm like, there's no spin mark here. <laughs> and I hop in the vehicle, I put it in four wheel drive and I pulled her out like nothing. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy Jake's rig because I'm sick of smelling it. It smells like cinnamon. No, it does not. It smells like a dead mouse covered in cinnamon. <laughs> Minus the cinnamon.